Greetings everyone uh, from wherever you are. My name is Orwa Joseph, a trainer with Africa 118 for Google Digital Skills program. Standing in for my colleague Evans Rabare who had technical issues to join our session. So as we kick off, just confirm that you can get to hear my voice and able to see our screen uh, before we just continue with our session of today in which we are going to discuss how you can build your brand and sell online. So just a quick check up, let me see if you can hear my voice, if you can see our slides and um, just confirm with me that you are able to hear our voice and also be able to see our slides. Uh, as I mentioned, my name is Orwa Joseph, a trainer with African on Eight. Today uh, we are going to jointly uh, have this session of today, assisted by Naola Dessa, who is interacting with us at the chat box. So the chat box will be uh, the sole point of our interactions with us, so ensure that uh, uh, you have, if you have any question, you have any suggestion, there is anything you want to share with us, will you share with us at the chat box and we'll be able to have a look at them. So thank you so much for joining and we apologize for uh, the technical issues that we had when we just started. For today we are going to have a discussion on how to build your brand and sell online. And uh, during our discussion we shall discuss the importance of having an online presence and as well as the steps you can take to establish your brand online. We look at what you can do to develop your e-commerce offering and also we'll discuss the top tips for utilizing social media to drive sales. So are you ready for our discussion of today? I want you to relax if you have a bottle of water in the next like uh, 45 to one hour we are going to have an engaging conversation on how you can build your brand and sell online. So before we jump into our first agenda, now we are going to look at how you can establish your brand online. My question to us today is, how do you currently market your business? How do you currently market your business? So great people, feel free to share that the chat box. If you have been marketing your business, how have you been marketing your business? And also remember, I still want to confirm with us if you can hear our voice and see our, uh, our slides moving. And I can see great people are here. Mm -hmm. We have Esete Seif, thanks Esete for joining. We have Kurabachiu Getna from Awasa. Oh, that name is fantastic. I wish it has a meaning, please. Share with us what could be the meaning of that name, Kurabachiu Get net. Wow, I need to visit Ethiopia very soon. So when I come, please pack a name for me. Ensure you pack a name for me. Uh, Shawanese Lewis, thanks for joining. Chala Brakelo from Aouda, great for having you. We have um, Isayu Shirafiu. Uh, we are glad you join us. Great, so we have great people coming, so keep on sharing your thoughts. If you are joining us now, let us know where you are joining us from and also feel free to share some of your expectations from today's session. So we have Mujib Kasim from Admas College, it's great to have you in our session of today and uh, let us proceed with our session, great, so uh, anytime there is an issue, maybe if you can't hear my voice or slides are not on how do you currently market your business. There are several ways in which you can market your business. Other people can use, they do advertisement on Google, other people use the word of mouth, walk from one place to another place telling people X, 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 tea here, coffee, 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 dress, 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 word of mouth, yes. And people use social media 
for example, Facebook, Instagram, and so forth. I don't know how you have been marketing your business. If any, feel free to share with us at the chat box, and we'll be much more glad to pick those examples as our learning points even as we proceed. So let's jump into our first agenda, establishing your online brand. So when we mention brand, what comes to your mind? So a brand for me, uh, from an experience, this is what can be associated with an organization. For example, if we have organization X, anything that can be associated with that particular organization is a brand. Anything you can remember about that organization. It could be their logo, it could be the color they are using, it could be their tonal of voice, kind of photos that they use, those one all suddenly make up the brand. Yeah, great. So, uh, we want to have a discussion on how you can put up your brand online. Put that brand online. Great. So, let's take a look. So, before we jump into the real point of discussion, what are some of the benefits that are brought to a business by going online? For example, a business decides to go online. What are some of the benefits that comes with it? I can see uh, someone was from a university here, Mujib Kasim from Admas College. My question is, is Admas as a college online? Uh, what are some of the benefits that have been brought to Admas College for having gone online, if they have gone online? Great. So again, we have um, uh, Emmanuel Tesfaya from Unity University. I have a question for us. Is Unity University online? If yes, what are some of the benefits that you think you are uh, Unity University is enjoying as a result of going online? Feel free to share with us at the chat box and we'll be much glad to pick that up that particular conversation even as uh, we continue learning, right? Now, internet business statistics from Statistica reveals that 1.79 billion people bought goods and services online last year, up from 1.7, uh, from 1.66 the previous year. And 97% of people learn more about a business online than anywhere else. And again, it is estimated that by the year 2040, 95% of purchases will be through e-commerce. That data is according to NASCAD. So when you look at these particular statistics, then you will find that if a business goes online, that there is high chances of that particular business getting more people interacting with their business and that interaction could lead to a purchase, right? So there are a lot of benefits that comes with you having gone online. So let's have a look at some of uh, how uh, the, the, the businesses do use the internet. So businesses use the internet to buy products and sell their products too. So if you have a business, if you can go online, use the internet to sell product and also buy those particular product. One of the basic uses of the internet for business is to sell product and services. So businesses can create e-commerce website to sell anything from cell phone, contract to books and even CDs. So online selling estimates the need for the business to maintain a brick and mortar store and in some cases, they don't have to hold any inventory. So, businesses can also use the internet to buy items and services online, such as bulk buying, office supplies, or printed materials. So, you find that the internet provides an avenue for businesses to do transaction online, which includes selling and buying of the products. Then the business can use the internet to do advertising, all right? 
when uh, uh, when a business decide to go online, you can use that particular channel to draw attention and make people know what exactly that business is offering. This could be about the product, services, promotion, and even target people whom they think could be potential customers. So you can use the internet for advertising. Again, you can use the business to reach new customers. Business owners use the internet to monitor customer purchasing trends and interests, discover what every day people think about a particular product or services. Business owners can visit online social networking sites and message boards to get this particular information. So taking in this feedback helps business owners to make their own products better. As they better their product, they seem to be solving a problem that belongs to a certain group of people. And when these people feel that product solves their problem, they will use the product. And then you have reached a new customer. And then you can also do a research on competition. An internet research on a competition company results in articles and news stories about the competition that may help a business owner prepare for chances in that particular industry. Again, consider what your online goals is when you want to go online. What is it? Why are you going online? To sell a product? To buy a product? Do you want to advertise? We want to reach a new customer or research on a competition. So, where could you do all these things, um, all these particular different things? Where exactly can you be able to do this? That is a question. Sell products, buy products, advertise, reach customers, and research on competition. Where exactly could you do all these different things online? Right? The first thing you need to do is to build an online presence, right? So in the digital age, it is absolutely essential for your business to have an online presence. Whether it's a website, an e-commerce platform, a social media page, or a combination of the three, getting your company online will reap major benefits. Even if your company does not conduct business online, customers and potential customers are expecting to see you online. If they don't see you there, you could be losing out of the opportunity to increase your customer base and get the word out there about your business. For example, we have in Value Design that have their own website through Google site. We have uh, Juma Art Tours that uses Wix to develop their website. And both of them have registered their business on Google My Business. So all businesses, no matter how small, should have a website. It can be extremely basic, but it could contain the fundamental information customer, both existing and potentials need. Alright? So, let's look at different uh, types of platforms that are available for you to be able to actually uh, build your online brand. There are different ways for you to reach customers online. You can have your own website, meaning you build your, you set up your own website and run it yourself. You can have a social media platform. You can have an online directory or an e-commerce platform. We are going to run through what each platform is more in more details later and how you can set them up. So, stay in food, but before we proceed, let's just confirm with you if you are still there and you are able to get our trailer session, you can hear our voice, and you are able to see our slides. Great. Great people, I can see great people, along, a lot of conversation going on with Timotheus joining us from Unity University too. It's great to have you people. How much is the online marketing in Africa? Right. There's a question that I've just come. And uh, before we proceed on, let me try to answer it Barak Cross. So uh, it Barak Cross, online um, marketing in Africa depends with what exactly you want to achieve. And 
um, from what you want to achieve, which platforms do you want to use? There is always so many aspects to be uh, put in considerations, and that one includes how competitive are the resources you tend to use are. To give you a quick example, if you want to market your business in um, uh, Google, maybe use Google Ads to market your business, and you want to use words like um, pizza. So when you want everybody who searches for the word pizza around your town to get to your website, there could be a lot of several pizza stores in that particular station. So if you are uh, doing your bidding process, if you pick the word pizza as one of the words that you want to use as a keyword, and maybe there are a lot of people who are also bidding for the same, then uh, the cost of your marketing could be higher for you to, to be able to achieve a desired goal. But that one will differ from one industry to another depending on which tools are you using and what kind of goal you want to achieve. I wish that, I hope that answers that particular question. And let's proceed, I believe, by the time we get to the end of this, you will be able to um, get most of our question answered. Great. So, let's look at some statistics about e-commerce in Africa. If you aren't already convinced that having an online presence is going to benefit your business, here are some statistics on e-commerce in Africa. There are 4 million internet users in Africa second to China. Did I say 4 million internet users? Yes. This is the highest second to China? Yes. So Africa makes up 10% of global retail sales with an estimated value of 75 billion by 2025, only four years away. Africa generated 16.5 billion from e-commerce alone in 2017. A lot of change since 2017. People are online more than before in 2020, the year that we are in. This number has definitely increased. So, what e-commerce platform are out there and how can you get one set up for you to be able to uh, have an e-commerce? Great. So an e-commerce platform allows online business to manage their website, marketing sales and operations in one place. E-commerce platforms are the backbone of any online retail enterprise, allowing a customer to see what you have posted and giving you an ample time as a business person to post your product with their photos and their prices, giving a chance to a customer to interact with them and be able to buy by a click of button, adding it to a basket and checking out to pay for them. So an e-commerce don't just support your business, but though they are growth enabler through which an organization can expand its e-commerce offering provide seamless customer experience and control its own destiny. We have great examples. Amazon. How many people have ever interacted with Amazon? As well as being an online retailer, Amazon allows for individual and business to sell and display products for sale online. Amazon has become the largest online e-commerce retailer and one of the most popular brand in the world. It was during the pandemic that was last year when there was a launch of Amazon. Yes, it was Amazon uh, selling vegetables, fresh vegetables, or an online shop. And when you visit that, you have a feel and touch of how that vegetable looks like. So even your vegetables, they will be bought online. Let me tell you, soon and very soon, the business will change on how they operate. Even down the street, you can always go there and buy some vegetables. A time is coming when those people will not line up to wait for you to go and buy vegetables from them. You will have to order and they will be delivered to you. And the ordering is going to be done through an e-commerce, which it could be Amazon or another one that you are going to develop yourself. Okay. 
back to our study. We have another example, Conga. Conga, Nigeria's largest online mall, launched in July 2012, and the mission is to become the engine of e-commerce trade in Africa. Jumia. I know most of us are familiar with Jumia. So allow our customers to buy products like cell phones, shoes, and groceries online. Do we have any common e-commerce in Ethiopia? Feel free to share that at the chat box. I will be much more glad to actually go through those particular examples. Uh, do we have any renowned e-commerce in Ethiopia? I'm waiting for your responses. I want to take example. I want to buy something from Ethiopia. So feel free to share with me. Do we have any? Yes. Oh, you have Gigi in Uganda. You, Sorono, thanks. That is Gigi in Uganda. I believe Gigi is also in Kenya. Gigi is also in Tanzania. Which one else in Ethiopia? Hello, Ethiopians. Hi. How are you there? Great. So feel free to share some of examples of e-commerce at your organizations, and this will be great for us to have an experience on how that works. All right. So let's move forward and now have a look at how you can sell products on online marketplaces. Now, we have some e-commerce that have been designed specifically for end users to be able to use. And we give them a common name called marketplaces. Gigi is a good example of an e-commerce platform that is like a marketplace through which you can set up an account for yourself post the product with their photos and their prices and people get to reach out to you and buy that product from you. So you can also set, an, uh, set up an account on online marketplace. Kilimall is an online mall in Africa, Kenya largest online shopping mall. So Kilimall is one of the examples of online marketplaces. We have Bidorai, an online marketplace in South Africa. Yeah. Trade, uh, deals with trade and sales for businesses and individuals. We have Gigi. So you have just mentioned Gigi in Uganda. Uh, ideally, Gigi, uh, uh, similar to Bido by, uh, it originated from Nigeria, but it has been replicated most East African markets. So we have Gigi in Uganda. I hope we have Gigi in Ethiopia, Gigi in Tanzania, and Gigi also in Kenya. So these are some online marketplaces that you can list your product and sell it there. All right. That is one of a uh, uh, friend of mine when I was in another session and this friend of mine asked me, I am an engineer. I need a job. So why should I come to this session where we build brand and sell online? I looked at him and this is what I told him, and I was actually repeating the words of one of my mentors, that if you cannot turn your skills into a service, then you need to go back and get another skill that you can turn into a service that can be sold. Go online. Place yourself as the engineer or a lexical engineer. Let people consult you to go and do wiring into their houses. Let people consult you to go and repair some electrical faults in their houses, in their businesses, and you will be in the market. Okay, fine. I don't want to, to force somebody to do that, but remember, if the skill you have, you cannot package it into a product or service that you can sell, go back and get another skill. If that one sounds threatening, then let's proceed with our discussion. For another place that you can actually sell your product is, or build your presence is using online business directories. A business directory is a website or printed listing of information which lists businesses within niche-based categories. Businesses can be categorized by niche, location, activity, or size. Businesses 
might be compiled either manually or through an automated online search software. This is so that customers can find the businesses easily. This bridges the gaps between business to business and business to customers. Examples of online directories, we have yellow pages of Africa and Africa business pages. Have, ever, have you ever interacted with either of these pages? If not this one, then you can go to infomobi.com, one of the online business directories. Do you want me to mention another one? No, that will be selfish of me. Let me give you another chance. You can list some of the online business directories that you know, especially that works best in your locality. Great. As you list that one down, let's proceed and look at how to get listed on online business directories. So getting listed on online business directory is simple. There are lots of different business directories you can use, but the process is similar. Register your business details, that business does, what the business does, sectors, what have you. And then country and region that your business is based in, add some contact and also register personal details for that particular account so that people can actually be able to connect with you. Steps are very simple. So at your free time or now, you can have just pasted uh, Africa Business Directory link at the chat box and you could have a test and feel on how it is easier to set up your business online. So somebody once asked me again, a friend, for myself, I am a software developer. You are telling me to register my business, okay, in business directory? How does it sound? It is possible. Whether you are a mechanic, you are an engineer, whatever kind of professional you are in, and maybe you have not started a business, the skills you have are the product, sell them to earn a living, make money, be found online. For example, for now, if I have uh, a fault fridge in my house, do I need to carry this particular fault fridge, walk downtown and to get somebody's workshop to fix it? No, 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 no. We are beyond that. I will go online and just search for refrigerator technician near me. If near me sounds not convincing, then I mention the name of the town in which I'm coming from, like Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. So if you're not online there, my friend, you will miss me and you will miss my money too. Thanks. So let's jump into how you can also build your online presence using social media platforms. So with the right marketing plans, you can use social media platforms to create successful campaigns and increase sales brand recognition and customer service. So setting up a business social media account varies across different platforms, but the steps are very similar. You sign up, add pictures, create username, add business details. Most social media websites provide a landing page and guide to how to set up an account. So different social media can help can help you connect with different types of audiences. So it is worth doing some research before you pick on or on, uh, you decide to which one you should use you and pick one or two to try out. So we are going to cover this later in this webinar. But for now, let's pause for some questions from us. All right. Thanks, people. I can see great people joining us. We have all right, all right. A lot of conversation is going on here. It's great people to have you. All right. Oh, we see it, but Kikos from Jiggling University of Ethiopia. Welcome. Jonas Wood from Unity Universe. Great. We have hi. Sorry for being late. Hoya Temeze. All right. Hoya Temeze. We are glad you, you are able to join us. Great. The most believe you from Unity University. I can see a lot of people coming from Unity University. I think I need to find something about Unity University. Is Unity University online? 
I'm waiting for somebody to answer me. Is Unity University online? Okay. Tester Wandindo from St. Mary, at least I now get St. Mary University. Yes, we have St. Mary University. Mariam from Kamioga. Welcome, Mariam. Glad to be part of this. Great. So I can see great conversation going on. So if you have any question, please feel free to share it with us and we'll be able to take a look at it and be able to have a great conversation with us even as we learn together. Great, great. And I can see uh, Mr. Evans from Barrett together with Noel interacting with us over there and trying to answer most of our questions that are coming forward. So feel free to share them out and even as we jump into our next agenda, developing your e-commerce offering. As I mentioned in our introduction that e-commerce is just like a, something like a shop that gives your people to interact with your product online, buy them and you deliver the products to them. We want to see on how you can develop your own offering. Does that one sound nice? Right. So, a domain, the first thing you need to do, you need to pick up a domain. Alright? So, when you pick up a domain for yourself, what is this particular domain? What is it? So, a domain is the name of a website. This is what customer will use to find you. When you buy domain, you purchase the name of your site so others can't use it. So once you buy your domain, you will need to like uh, build a website and connect it to that particular domain so that when people Google or follow the domain of your name that you are in, they are taken to your website. So. Uh, the domain name must be registered before you can use it. And there are several ways and platforms through which you can register your domain. We have Africa domains, we have Google domains, and so many other. Alright? So let's look at the platforms from where you can secure your domains. We have GoDaddy. Have we ever heard of GoDaddy? Alright? So GoDaddy is also a platform from where you can actually register your domain. We have Domain King, we have Bluehost too. Alright? So if you don't travel in the list, we have also Uis. So even Uis is also uh, uh, a platform from where you can uh, actually register your domain. So do you need a practical example on how you can buy a domain online and purchase it? So if you need a practical on that, feel free to share with us and I will be able to indicate or show you how you can actually uh, buy a domain. But let me try if I can do you um, an example, a practical uh, example. So let me share my screen on uh, how you can buy your domain online. This I think is going to be interesting and I want to use OE's platform. So let me just share with you uh, how you can buy your domain in OE. So, right, so his name, we are there. Uh, can you see my screen? So once you have picked your domain, for example, uh, let me use which one? Okay, let me use this domain setup connections dot com. I want to register domain setup connection dot com. Go to search. Pop, pop, pop. Let me search. Is set up there? All right, it's searching. Great. And then it's available. Are you able to see? So this means. I can buy it, it is available. So what do I do? I just buy it. Yeah. I've searched for it so it is available. So what I do, I just buy the domain. And once I buy the domain, I'm ready to go. So you can, okay, so I can select here. 
I want to set up connection.com, select it. And then I can come here and check out, you see? When I check out, I now go and pay for it. It's easy, it's quite easy. So once you purchase it, that will be available for you to use. Buying domains are very, it's very easy. So it depends with the, uh, like this domain is an inter, a .com domain and uh, it goes for $9.88. Let's try if I wanted to set up connections.org, standing for, uh, educa uh, for organizations, majorly used by NGOs for one year that, all right, this one is, so .org is quite much expensive, it's $10.88. Let's look another extension dot net connection dot net. Let me look at dot net. Find out what's, what we have. Dot net is much more expensive. It's twelve point four eight. So domains also have different extension. Dot org stand for organization. Dot net stand for organization that maybe are offering um, uh, uh, services that are. Uh, Tech, tech services like maybe website creation, uh, networking, all right. Dot com stand for company, and uh, and so forth. There are so many other extensions. We have dot business. We have dot Africa to mean that the domain is coming from Africa. So that's where you can buy your domain. So let's proceed back to our great, great content that we were sharing, uh, sharing with us. So we are back there. And uh, so these are also examples of places you can buy your domain. So once you buy your domain, you are ready to build your website. So building a website used to require learning how to code. But those days are in the past, you know. Now anybody can easily create a website using website builders. So whether you own a small business or you are looking to create your own blog, website builders make it so you don't have to hire a web designer to have professional design site. Website builders make it easier for you to make your own website with little effort of coding and skills. So have you ever interacted with website builders? We have uh, several examples. We have Wix, we have Google Sites, uh, we have WordPress, we have Camellio, and Actually, I will show you an example of a website build and how you can create up a website, all right? So once you have picked up your builder, you go into your build and select templates. So templates are a big part of what makes website builders easier to use than building website from scratch. So with a template, you can get all the basic structure and design of your website into, um, into place right away. So then you have to do only one thing, tweak it, change the color, redesign it to fit what exactly you want to pick. So once you pick your template and ready to customize it, now you will be uploading your content. Yeah? So digital content, this refers to the text, images, videos and other media that visitors will see when they come to your site. So you help customers understand what your business is all about, your product, services, and, and who are the faces behind that particular uh, business. So we have Juma Art that uses Wix. Let me show you a practical example on how you can use what we call website builders to come up with your website. Are you ready for that? Let me check if my internet is strong enough here to take you through a builder. Okay, I will I will try to make it uh, just for you to have a, a feel and touch on how uh, the, the website builders look like. So let me just show you how website builders look like and how you can actually upload your content right away. And uh, I believe it will load, let me see if uh, uh, let me know if you are able to to see the builder is uh, is coming up. The screen is loading. Great. So let me see the other one. And let me see the other one. Great. So are you able to see my screen? 
with the bailer. Great, great. This is a website actually I'm building for one of our clients is called a Flying Dream Company Limited. So this is an example of a bailer. So what I am doing here is just uh, all the structure was there. I have only to change the logo and also to change um, some context here and there. I can click here and add another page if I want, for example. For example, I can add another page here, and I want to call that page a new page. I want to have a new page. So you add that new page. Maybe I want to add a contact page. So when I pick a contact page, I come to pick the layout of that contact page, and I say yes. And uh, the page has been added. So what I need to do is just to play uh, around with this particular page that has been added right there is a map already if I want to add an image here then I come here and maybe change the background color of this to red maybe oh, red I know it's a shouting color but just for for the demonstration purposes so you see it's ready if I want to add an image as the background I will come here and click here pick an image just for 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 us to, to to see and have a feel of what this looks like. So uh, having an image as the background. And that is done, right? So this is what we call a, a builder and can help you actually come up with a very nice looking website. So when you, 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 you use the builders, then it's easier for you to come up with a great website. Thanks. That is how builders work. And uh, they are common across board, so you don't need to like um, a struggle, you only need to learn some few techniques and uh, be able to use it. So if you have used one builder, it's very easy for you to translate that particular experience into using other builders and also uh, to be able to upload your content. So once you pick up uh, your template, you design it and also upload your content. Great. So let's proceed the discussion and look at best practices when creating content for your website. Yeah, the first thing: prioritize your audience. Consider what your audience will want to see. Very important. Prioritize your audience. I know it comes to a point when you feel like the website should be should communicate you as a business. That is very true. But in addition on of you communicating to your customers, the customers know what they want. If they open up your website and it loads, takes ages to load, that one will mean that they will be running away from your website. So consider using light images that have been optimized to appear both on phone and maybe on a PC. The kind of uh, uh, the content that uh, your audience want to interact with are they, uh, uh, do they want video-based con video content, image-based content, or people that want text-based content? Another thing, research on your competitors. Always take a look at what other businesses that are in the same industry, industry as your business, what they do. So exactly what they do, that one will mean your customers, who, uh, they have expectation. If I'm visiting, this particular website and they are in boutique for example that is something I expect to see from the website so how will you know that consider looking at your competitors what they do uh, on their website and that one will give you a clue on what exactly most people will be expecting from your website this is not about copying them it is just about learning what exists and improving from what is existing so that you don't appear a guest all right great then another thing you need to do learn search engine optimization basics so search engine optimization this is all about making your content ready to be understood by search engine when somebody searches for a product or services related to your industry if you do your search, for example, for now, schools in Addis Ababa, all right, when you do that particular search, 
I'm not, let, let, let's do this. Let's have a look at it. Let's try to search schools in Addis Ababa. All right? Are you ready to do that search with me? Schools in Addis Ababa. Okay. Okay, good. Let's so to google.com, sorry. Right, and then schools in Addis. Let me just say Addis Sababa, all right. Great. Are you able to see my search result page? Great. I'm sure you're able to see it. So let's look at this particular search study page and have a, uh, a conversation around it. I've just searched schools in Addis Ababa. My question is, why is British International Schools in the top list? Why is Stanford International School in the top list? Why is Intellectual Shop Sabat KG branch in the top list? All right? Why is this website listing five best international schools in the top list? Why? Does it mean those schools were started a long time ago before others could it mean maybe um what's happening what exactly is happening why why do did we have those particular listed in the first they did some basics of search engine optimization they worked with the words correctly so that the search engine understand what exactly you're going to search for wonderful so learn some search engine optimization basics right and also, you need to go um, beyond with e-commerce plugins. So, if you have a website that you have created, you can turn your website into a shop by incorporating what we call a plugin. A plugin is not like an imaginary thing that we have never had. No, they are just some pieces of software that, when they are made available to your website, they make your website have more functionalities. All right. So with e-commerce plugin means you can have promotion and discount code tools. For example, when you visit any e-commerce, sometimes you'll find we have a promotion. It was 900, now it is 750. So those particular plugins give you tools and options to be able to do that and as it display to your customer. And then we have easy to use checkout. When we are buying that domain in my UEs demonstration you saw there was just a button to check out so if I'm registered member I will just use my account and then I pay if you have not registered then we will be prompted maybe to uh, register into that uh, your profile so that you may be able to make the payment and then we have search engine optimization so e-commerce gives you an option of optimizing your website you use the words that are always used to describe product are easily available and another thing is email marketing integration. Anybody buying from an e-commerce, they will be prompted to put their email addresses. This one becomes a good a way of collecting email addresses and you can target those particular people with a campaign based on what they buy, when did they de uh, uh, perform that particular purchase, and you can compare the activities done online with the real experience on your offline shop to understand that these people bought this particular item during this month. What was happening? It was cold. So they buy, the, what did they buy? They bought jackets or, and jumpers, right? So you can actually go back and reinterest those people or inform them of new products that are coming. And then we have multiple payment options. This could be M-Pesa or mobile money transfers, could be Visa card, MasterCard, and etc. So these e-commerce plugins will give you an opportunity to be able to work with them on that. All right. So where do you download the e-commerce platforms that are available? So once you have your website, you are building it, and maybe you are using a website builder, you will always be able to have a, an area to download and install plugins. And e-commerce uh, plugins that are well known, there are so many, but we have three, for example, you can take some initiative to do research on some. We have WooCommerce that uh, allow you to build your online store on the open source, completely customizable e-commerce platform. We have EC Digital Downloads, a complete e-commerce solution for WordPress. If you're using WordPress, then you can use 
easy digital downloads actually to uh, make your website become a shop right Let, let's simplify it in that manner then we have w e-commerce powering over 36,186 stores w e-commerce is one of the most relied upon open source solution for business around the globe why is it much more relied on it could be it easy to um, to uh, redesign easy to update easy to make configuration and changes and therefore people like things that makes their work and life easier so WP e-commerce all right so let's move forward with our discussion and have a look at some uh, um, uh, uh, pieces of advice to us. So when you're creating your website, make sure that your website is mobile friendly. Ensure that it is mobile friendly. Because uh, from uh, this statistic uh, that is coming from Statistica says 2.4 billion people will shop online worldwide by this, the end of this year. And 21 million online shoppers across Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya, as we speak, there are 21 million people that are just purchasing. But 50% 50, 50 of those consumers, they shop more online on mobile devices. So we find more majority of people do their shopping on mobile devices. So if your website takes ages to load on your mobile device, then it will be a challenge for people to be able to visit your website. Our moderator will be sharing this link with you that will help you understand if your website is uh, how the performance of your website on mobile devices. Just go to g.co forward slash test my site and you'll be able to get some data on how your mobile um, website is performing on mobile devices. Great. Let me pause for now before we jump into our last segment in which we are going to discuss how you can utilize social media to drive sales. Let me check if you have some questions coming for us to answer. All right. All right, great, great, friendly, goodly. Wow. Wow, it is user friendly. Good vibe, thanks. All right, Pew Soron is sharing something great there. Thank you for helping us get our certificate. Storage, okay, great. We are happy that you did get your certificate. If you can make correct your screen visible enough, all oh, right. Robel up some. Let me try. Are you able now to able to see my screen? Let me see if my connection is stable. Or it could be on my end or your end, but let me find if I can have an alternative connection to make my uh. Uh, internet uh, uh, stable. All right, all right. Oh, thanks for all oh, is confirming that is super cool. That's great, great to hear from you. So, um, uh, if you have any question that uh, need to be addressed, feel free to uh, throw it out. Uh, our moderator now that this so will be handling all those particular questions and occasionally I will be coming to have a look at them so just confirm that uh, uh, our, um, our screen is visible you can be able to see our screens and able to hear our voice even as we prepare to jump into our last segment are you ready for the last segment if ready say yes okay somebody have not said yes Somebody have not said yes. And actually, I'm going to expose you. Should I? Before I, I say yes or no, let's go to utilize social media to drive sales. Right. My question to ask, how can social media benefit your business? How can social media benefit your business? How? Feel free to share with us. If you have anything you feel social media can help your business, feel free to share with us. I'm waiting for you. So if you don't want me to mention names of people never said yes. <laughs> okay, Oyal said yes. Uh, Starad said yes. Thank you guys for saying yes. So I'm not going to mention people never said yes. So a question for us. How do, can social media benefit your business? If you have a business. 
how can social media, uh, media help you? But remember, we have some, uh, some, some of us joining us from the university. Either you are a lecturer there, or you are a student there, or maybe you are running some businesses. Even in, uh, when I was in high school, by the way, I was selling notes. I used to write good notes. In fact, I was attending all the classes and write good notes and then photocopy them and have them bound. So I will always sell my notes. And I was using social media. Actually, it's when the Facebook came and they introduced the group thing. So we could uh, group our classes and tell them, I have notes for physics. Right? And uh, uh, I could sell the notes. And that one helped me not to call home for some upkeep money. All right? Okay. Thanks, Chala Bikali, for sharing. Social media is easy to reach more people. Yes, it's easy to reach more people with social media. Thanks for sharing. That was great. Now, uh, social media can benefit you in so many other ways. The first one, make more sales. You can use social media to reach new audiences and create new opportunities. Another thing, you can add value to your brand. The question, how can you add value to your brand? With social media, it gives you a quicker way to interact with your people, your customers, communicate to them through instant messages, comments, and even sharing articles. This will make people feel good when they feel you communicate back to them. They will say, go and ask them a question. They will reply. So social media can add value your brand you can raise customer service level start a two-way conversation and get valuable customer insight another thing it can help you improve your marketing so with social media you can know which area to target which town to target which category of people to target so with that tool being embedded in social media it improves your marketing right you can also build relationships and networks it could be a business to business relationship, a business to customer relationship, and even build your own community. What do we mean by community? When you are online, there is your community. For example, if you make a post, you are sure of either 20 likes, 60, 100, or 30. That is your community. A people that appreciate your being online. So you can always build relationships and network, all right? Another thing, you can stay competitive and be on top of the game. How? Being online, you get to interact with your customer. You, you get their concern. You get what they say. And when you address them, you, are, uh, you, you will be like uh, uh, shining out, creating a, a solution to the problem that exists. And you will be always top of the talk with social media. Right, so let's dive deep and look at how to set up social media strategy. First thing, look at your audience, business goals, social media platform, tone of voice, and ask yourself, what do you consider as a success? Should we like discuss this item one by one? Fine. Let's yes. So you need actually to define your strategy by looking at who are your audience? Where are they? What are they interested in? Who or what influences them? When are they usually online? And which social media do they use? So if they use Facebook, for example, and you go to post on Instagram, it will be a challenge. If um, you are doing maybe social media marketing and they are in Addis Ababa and you are targeting, hey, which other town is in Addis Ababa? Okay, when I come to Ethiopia, one of the towns that I will visit is Addis Ababa. So apart from Addis Ababa, which other town is in Ethiopia? So if your customers are in Ethiopia and you target that other town, then you'll be missing out, right? The next thing is your goals. So define your goals. What do you want to achieve with the campaign? with you going online. You want to give better customer service, grow your brand and awareness, generate more sales, or get more people on your site. What exactly do you want to achieve? 
So you need to consider your goal. Did you pick that one? Okay, let's move forward and look at social media platform. Once you understand your audience, you know your goal, now you need to consider which kind of social media platform are they using for you to connect with them. Social media platform, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, which one works for you? Did you get that one? Great. So let's say next, tone of voice. Friends, when we mention tonal voice, this applies to creating any piece of content and communicating with your audience online. The tone of voice is not like the audible sound alone. But this one includes how you reply to comments, how you reply to rejection or critics online, the color you use, the fonts you use, your do and don't, the style of images that you are using. So that one is your tone. For example, from afar when somebody is visiting YouTube, you will know that is YouTube. That is a tonal voice for YouTube. Alright, if somebody is on Facebook, even from afar, if you are able to visualize and see the screen, you will know that that person is in Facebook. Is that one true? So you as a business you also need to develop your tone so that people know you and they can differentiate you from the other. Did you get that one? Great. And the last one is, what is your success? Defining success means of your business. What You need to come up with what are you considering as a success. So that when you go home and you carry out a campaign using social media, you can sit down and say, I did make it or I lost it. What else can I do? You need to define your success. Right. Fine. So which social media platform does your business use? If you have ever used social media, feel free to share with us the chat box some of the social media channels that you have used. Great. We have examples of social media that you can use. And the first one here is Twitter. So Twitter is good for a quick conversation and PR. Create a professional looking profile, add an image, and a username. Get noticed and join conversation by using relevant hashtags ask questions and run polls. You can retweet and engage with content your customers would like. Use pin tweet to display important messages, offers among others. So have you ever used Twitter? We have explained how Twitter can benefit your business. Alright, if you have used Twitter, share with us how has been the experience. The next one you know very well is Facebook. So Facebook is a great tool for helping customers find you and see what your business is about. Remember, there is more than 2.5 billion monthly active users on Facebook. So you can link it to your website so that when people are on Facebook on your page, they can directly go to your website. You can add opening hours and contact details so that people can reach out to you and know when your business is open. You can change the call to action buttons that are always available on Facebook page from shop now, contact us, buy now, or visit us. So you can use GIFs and videos to generate interest and shares. Have you ever used Facebook for your business? If not, try it out and in the next conversation you will be sharing the experience with us. There's another one is Instagram. So Instagram is a great place to draw people with visuals. A place to share photos and videos for anything from new product to a day at the beach. So use your photo caption to tell a story and get people interested. You can go easy on the hashtags or following influencers, brands or people you find interesting on Instagram. So if you want to go visual with short videos, want to fit people see you, Instagram becomes a place for your business. Alright, another one is LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a great for recruitment, building a professional network or connecting with peers. Create a personal or company page and add a profile. Encourage your employees if you have to become brand 
advocate. Make your company page search engine friendly by using names that are quite keywords to your business. So generate interest by creating special showcase pages among others. You can share product news, thoughts, leadership, content among others. Did you pick that? We started from Twitter, we went to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, boom. I have to post now to check if you have some questions with us. All right, do we have any question with us coming forward? All right, there is no question coming forward. Okay, if you have any question, feel free to put it on the chat box so that we address it now. But our question for you, what is going to be your next step? What is going to be your next step after this particular session? We have uh, people sharing uh, Samar and Dale can make business easily accessible. Yes, social media can actually make your business uh, easily accessible. And uh, we have also Stale said can help us to promote our business by telling people who our business is about. Thank you so much, uh, Staja, for your uh, contribution, that's great, it's true, you can use social media to actually uh, tell people about your business. Okay, so what's up status on social media or not? Okay, Pius Arono, thanks for sharing. WhatsApp in itself is a social media platform and we even have WhatsApp for business that gives you uh, a greater um, tools for you to be able to showcase your business from your product that you sell, contact details, you can fill up a form for your catalog and add information, more information on WhatsApp. So using WhatsApp, generally you are using a social media. I believe Pius or Ron that answers your question. Great, so a question for me and for you. As I wait, a question for me, from you, I have a question for you from me what is going to be our next step after this particular lesson it was an hour or so session but what exactly are you going to do different as we agree great so uh, we have my colleague Evans Rabade who is joining us and uh, um, I just have a question for us. Do you have a question for us? Evans Rabare, hi there, Evans. Do you have any contribution, any answer that you need to give us, a question to address before we call it and end it? Evans, back to you. Uh, perfect. Uh, so thank you so much, Ora, for, uh, for holding on. So, uh, so I just want to say thank you guys for joining and also just to, uh, just to say that uh, uh, the certificate issue is going to be addressed and hopefully you're going to receive them by today. So, uh, Haptamu and um, uh, Oliad and now, so don't worry, the certificates are coming and uh, we hope to continue with the same pace and just invite more of your friends to become part of the session. Uh, Orwa, you can proceed and uh, close the session. Thank you very much, Evans, for your input and uh, for joining us for this particular session. It's so great to have you. Oh, that was my colleague, Evans Rabare. We thank God we were able to see him. He had some technical issues and pom pom to us, the end has come. Thanks, Evans, for confirming to us that everybody that has attended this session will be offered with your certificate. So my colleague is going to share a link with us from where we can subscribe for our certificate. And also, please learn more online, all right? You can visit the link in display that our moderator is going to share with us. So you can go and learn more online for free. Google has actually provided us with a platform from where we can be able to uh, learn more of these particular digital skills and able to connect uh, with the required skills and be much competitive with with what is going on in the market trends. So uh, feel free to uh, uh, follow us on the, uh, join that link and learn more, get to learn more, get to learn more. And remember, we are quite much happy to have you in our session today. 
and uh, we are also social so follow up on our social media and a kind request for us if there is anything that you have learned today if there is anything a comment a suggestion anything that you want to put across today while it is still hot while it is still in your memory and your mind please go to the social media platform and be able to uh, go to our social media platform and share it with us with the hashtag grow with Google we are going to share the social media platform so that you'll be able to access them easily at the chat box please tell us something that you stood out for you today feel free to share with us at the chat box and also share with us at the social media platform with the hashtag grow with Google all right feel free to share with us grow with Google and nonetheless again for everybody that attended this particular session uh, we have a social media platform that has been shared with us now is sharing there so we have a certificate a link for certificate for all of us that have attended this particular session today so a link has just been shared with us for the certificate so feel free to subscribe to that certificate and it will be sent to your email uh, uh, as soon as we end this particular session latest in the next one week so without much ado please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel so that you get notification every time we come live but for now i just want to say thank you so much for coming you are great people i was your lead trainer orwa joseph to assisted by naholas our moderator uh, i was standing in for evans rabare who just came to say hi to us so have a great day and Thank you for coming.